help you, bro. Just like we have elders that help us. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within, out of the heart of men. Read, I'm sorry, read it again from the top. Mark 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within, out of the heart of men. The Bible says from within, out of the heart of men. What's your heart, my son? Huh? But what is your heart? Let's see what the Bible says. For from within, out of the heart of men. Because the topic is the heart, right? Read. Proceed evil thoughts. Where do your thoughts come from? No, where do your thoughts come from? Out of your mind. Right. So read it again for Marshawn so he can understand. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. The Bible says your heart is your mind. Right. That's where your thoughts come from. So when he say lean out onto your own understanding, that means don't go into your own mind and think you know. Because what comes out of your mind? Read. Adultery. Uh -huh. Fornication. Uh -huh. Murders. All of these things come out of our mind. God said don't lean on that. Go to the Bible for your understanding. Lean on God. And everything we know about God comes out of this word. That's right. So when your mind says, you know what? I know I'm Israelite. I know I got to get with brothers. But I don't know who to get with. God said, don't lean on that. Because your mind is going to tell you, nah, just stay by yourself. You see that? Get uh, 2, Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 28 and verse 19. I believe that's what it is. Because God is telling us, don't lean on your own understanding, my son. That's what got us into captivity, is our own mind. If you can't find that, get the one in Proverbs about the mind. You know what I'm talking about? 28. Something like that, can't find that. So we we can't go off our own mind. That's why we gotta gather together. Because guess what? As a nation, we've been by ourselves too long. What is the what's the tactic that so-called white man use against it? Divide and conquer. If we are individuals, we're not gonna get together. You see what I'm saying? That's what God doesn't want us to do. You got that? Read. And guess what? Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this though, Marshawn. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. What did we just read and mark what the heart was? The heart is what? Your mind. So read that again. So instead of saying heart, let's uh, in, uh, let's put mind in there, right? Read. The heart is deceitful above all things. The Bible says the mind is deceitful above all things. Read. And desperately wicked. And desperately deceitful means it's, it's not, it's wicked. Meaning like it deceives you. It makes you think one thing, but it's a whole nother thing. Your mind may think being by myself is okay, but it's really not okay. Right. You see what I'm saying? Read on. Desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? Who can know the crazy things that come out, come out of our mind? God said, don't lean on your own understanding. You see that? Because that's what got us put in captivity. We thought we knew better. Right. We thought we had all of the understanding, the ways that we supposed to go. But God said, no, acknowledge me in all your ways. Right. And direct your, your heart aright. You see that? That's what you got to do. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Now go back to Sirach chapter uh, 19. Go back to Sirach chapter 19. You have to understand, Marsha, you can't do this by yourself. Yeah, all of this is King James with the uh, King James version of pocket. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All praises. You got that? Oh, Sirach 19, 19 and 18. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 18. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. We read in Psalms 111.10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Because 
when you understand the Bible you go, and doing God's commandments, you're not going to lean on your own understanding. Read on. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. Uh -huh. And wisdom obtaineth his love. Read. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. That's what that's what we got to live by, his commandments. His commandments say, Marshawn, you got to gather together with other Israel. His commandments say, don't lean on your own mind. His commandments says, your heart is wicked. Right. So you got to get around this Bible. You got to get around brothers that know this Bible, that keep the commandments. Read. Right. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. You see that? They that do the things that please God, they're going to get the tree of immortality. You see that? We got to do what's pleasing to God. Give me that in Psalms 40. We have to, we have to delight in God's commandments. We have to have a joy in keeping his commandments. When you know his commandments, Marshawn, you have to do them because that's what got us put in this captivity. Our sins, not keeping God's commandments, leaning on our own minds. Right. I'd rather celebrate Christmas than celebrate the, uh, the laws of God. I'd rather celebrate New Year's than celebrate Passover. You see that? Yeah, Read. Nice. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Uh -huh. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. You have to acknowledge God in all your ways. That's delighting in his will, keeping his commandments.